Real racketeers. Monk Eastman, psychopathic gangster whose name is short for monkey cause he does appear rather ape-like. A war hero packing a razor blade, sporting knife, and bullet scars that began at his ankles, ran up to his barrel chest and crisscrossed his neck and face. Bullet holes, broken nose, and flaps for ears were battle wounds. Monk Eastman was literally a human beast not to be trifled with. By the time he was a teenager, he had exasperated his God-fearing mother with his brawling, robberies, and other anti-social acts. Although he stood only five feet six inches tall, he was a fearsome force. He had an instinctive aptitude for street fighting. Monk was a hard-punching, club-swinging, ear-biting, eye-gouging lunatic who could pummel anyone mad enough to fight him. Eastman was known to have had a messy head of wild hair, wore a derby two sizes too small for his head, sported numerous gold-capped teeth, and often paraded around shirtless or in tatters, always accompanied by his cherished pigeons. I found out he really liked birds, and his first and maybe only legitimate business was owner of a pet store that sold birds. Young Eastman first made money from stealing pigeons and then selling them in his store. Eastman could be ruthless and cruel to humans, but he loved animals. He was usually seen strolling about with a huge blue pigeon on his shoulder. I like it to Boyd's, he would say aloud. Shown here is a 1903 NYPD mugshot of Monk, born Edward Eastman, 1875, in New York City, USA. Died December 26, 1920, age 44 or 45, from a gunshot wound. You kill Monk in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. As you can see, there was a huge turnout for his funeral accompanied by a hell of a lot of military personnel. This shows him wearing the title War Hero, obviously well-deserved. Monk personifies soldier. and They don't make them like these anymore, my boy. May Big Monk be in gangster heaven right now, flying around with his big blue beautiful boids. He like a da boids.